Grab a three cube storage organizer from Walmart and start to assemble it based on the instructions. Cut some upholstery foam, then start to closely staple some fabric layered with batting to the top side of the organizer. Cut any excess material, then staple the material to the sides of the organizer. Add the upholstery foam and fit the material over the foam. Make sure to tuck, wrap, and staple the material around the foam on the other side of the organizer. Tightly staple all of the corners and the sides Sides, and lastly staple the bottom of the sides. I picked up an inexpensive woven rug at Ikea. I started by pulling the bins out of their storage area and I'm going to lay the rug down flat and then put the bin on top to measure how much fabric I need. To attach the rug to the bin, I'm going to use hot glue. So I'm gluing it to the back. So the handle part of the bin is actually gonna be on the back and this fabric is gonna be on the other side. It's gonna wrap those sides of the rug around and secure it to the sides. Now I'm gonna add a handle to this bin. So I'm gonna poke a hole into the handle, one on each side, and stick the brad through. Punch a hole through the rug and through the storage bin, and then push that brad through. And then on the inside of the storage bin, I'm gonna push the two ends of the brad down to secure it in place. My daughter purchased a large television, and wouldn't you know it, her old TV stand was too small. All we really needed for this project was molding and an unfinished wooden top. I laid the board on top of the stand and measured to center it. Using my miter saw, I cut the molding to size. I pre-hammered finishing nails into the molding, added wood glue to the edge of the board, and hammered the molding into place. I continued to measure, glue, and nail molding to all three sides of the board. To secure the board to the old stand, I pre-drilled and added screws to the top, then filled the holes with wood fill. I also filled in the edges with wood fill. Once the wood fill was dry, I sanded it smooth. I applied a one coat of a dark stain with polyurethane and allowed it to dry. Then I sanded using a fine grit sandpaper. To ensure the stand wouldn't fall over, I bought furniture straps. I measured and screwed one end of the strap to the TV stand, then measured and screwed the other end to the wall. Now the TV fits perfectly and my daughter can still use her old stand. I purchased the three cube storage unit and put it together in 10 minutes. Now for the bed frame. I painted two one by 12 inch pieces of pine to use at the sides of the frame. I needed something to elevate the mattress. So using two by fours, I cut to size and used a Craig jig to make two U legs. I placed them at the head of the bed and in the middle of the bed. I laid a piece of three quarter inch plywood on top of the U legs and screwed them into the plywood. I placed a storage unit at the foot of the bed and screwed that into the plywood. The painted one by twelves were attached to the U legs using brads. I then laid a one by two beside the plywood on the top and overhung the one by twelves and nailed them in place. Then I laid a one by six on top to hide the seam. At the foot of the bed, the storage unit wasn't as wide as the actual bed and there were gaps on either side. Now that the bed frame was complete, it was time to make the headboard. 